Well, we're uh, out spraying again. You can see I got my steering lines uh, back. It just tells me which way and how, how many feet I'm off in the middle there. So we're back out in the beans with our 90 foot booms and uh, we're making things happen here. Been out here for, I think just about, a, like just over an hour and we've done 34 acres so far. So I've been in one, two, this is the third field. So a little chopped up out here, but um, these two, the last two connected together so I didn't have to fold up, which is kind of nice. Got folded up, working our way out of that one field we were in through the first field we were in. I've got 49.8 acres done. And I think I got about, what is it, 20 or 22, I don't know, maybe it's not even that. I'm not sure, but regardless, I have about 30 acres worth of stuff on me, which is good because there's a massive hill. And if you've ever run sprayer in hills, well, certain sprayers, I guess I don't know all sprayers, but as you get going up and down hills, the product will, uh, you know, swoosh to the back of the sprayer away from the pump. Well, then you're not pumping anything. You're not putting anything on the field. I like to be a little fuller than I need to be. Like, um, that's why I'm not doing this as the last farm. So that way I can run the sprayer out um, on a flat farm, which will be my last farm and I'll be all done. Um, but that's why I brought a little extra product out to this field. So. Working our way out to the road here. You can see it, we're gonna jump across the road. That's our same controller. I think I went over that. Except for there's five sections. And instead of a control box, there's a joystick that we can hold in our hand. Uh, you got your overall boom height. You got your left, right tilt, and then your left, right fold in. So pretty slick just to hang on to it in your hands as you're going. So hold in here and uh, we're gonna get going. These beans are nice. Going out here, my wife is, we're like, we live a, not even a half mile from here, so she's bringing me down some lunch, so scoring some lunch. Little go-go juice, then a little water, and to mix up, and I gotta run to my meeting, and then I'll be back to do the last, uh, I don't know, 45 acres. Can't quite remember. I think it's about 45. There's all the way about a group of five deer that run around in here, but uh, chowing on some beans, but that's all right. We're just getting the field outlined here. It's pretty narrow back here. It's gonna be, uh, you know, we're almost touching the trees over there too, so. But spinning around here. Boy, these are some nice looking beans down here. Putting her on. Getting it done here. Not gonna jinx myself. Not even gonna say it. But it's going nicely. This field's got a water ditch through it, so it takes quite a bit to get around the whole thing and do the one lap around. We're about three quarters of the way around, maybe, not quite. And we've got 11 acres sprayed already, just doing the headland. So, I think it's a 40, I looked it up, it's 46.2 acres is what I got on climate, so. Hopefully it's somewhere close, cause that's, I mixed just about enough for, I think I went just a little over, close to 50 acres worth, so. Farm in sight, bean fungicide is done. Well, that's gonna be it. Um, yeah, spraying done for now, unless the bugs come in. We'll keep monitoring that. And then, uh, other than that, maybe some harvest prep soon, and uh, corn's starting to tassel. Maybe the, I think we're doing some um, air tractor or helicopter spraying on that, some fungicide. So I don't know if I'll be able to get that on video or not. I don't know when they're coming. Probably this week sometime, but with that, I'm going home. So you guys have a good one. Be safe as always. We'll check you later.